This video is sponsored by Copilot. For the last month, I've been training with a personal trainer, but the catch, it's been entirely on my phone. This is Copilot, a personal training app that matches you with a personal trainer who creates custom workouts for your specific needs. And last month, they approached me with a proposition. They wanted to sponsor me to try out Copilot for an entire month and give a 100% honest review. So I used an online only personal training app for a month and this is what happened. To get started with Copilot, I had to do an onboarding quiz, which essentially asks you about your goals, your needs, as well as the specifics about my personal trainer that I would feel most comfortable with. For example, their gender or their approach to teaching. I matched with a coach named Brooke, who I had an onboarding call with that same day. It was really informal and friendly. Brooke and me got along like a house on fire, I'll be honest. She asked about my goals for fitness, including how often I wanted to work out, how often I currently worked out, and the kinds of workouts that I enjoy doing. She also checked what kind of equipment that I had access to at home or whether I had access to a gym. I told her I wanted to do four workouts a week with a mixture of strength and cardio. I also mentioned that I am really on a Pilates grind at the moment and wanted to kind of incorporate body weighted Pilates styles into the workouts that we came up with. She then went on to explain how the app worked and explained the in-app chat feature. The app is really well planned out to be honest with you. It shows you a calendar with all of your workouts on for any given day as well as a section for bonus workouts that your coach can set in case you don't really feel like doing the chosen specific workout that you have for that day. The chat feature also allowed me and Brooke to send video messages and texts all within the app so she could update me on any changes she made to my workout routine and I could give her direct feedback via the feedback segment at the end of every workout I did. My girl, happy Wednesday. Okay, so I have everything up ready to rock and roll. So workouts, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and then in your extras, I have like a flexibility um, that I made you. I also made you like a stretch flow. And then that one we talked about, about the feel good fun. Um, so you will see all of those in your extra section and then all of those other workouts um, on the calendar. So like we talked about Tuesday was just like our strength. Thursday, more of that Pilates feel. Um, Saturday, more of the cardio component and that strength work. And then Sunday, um, more cardio and core. So take a peek at those, take a peek at the extras. Let me know what you think. Um, remember we can change anything we need at any point in time, as many times as we need, um, until we figure out exactly what is going to work, but see what you think about these. Um, and we will go from there. Right. I've opened up the app and it looks like today I'm doing Pilates and it is 58 minutes long. I'm only using body weight for these ones. We've got some cat cow, dog stretches, push up. I was supposed to wear my Apple Watch and I, I got it out and put it in a safe space to remember to charge it. I've, I've since lost that safe space, but it is fine because there's a phone only option. All right, so there's a timer that tells you what you're doing. Seconds left. Oh, okay, all right. It's nice to know, thank you very much. Up next is 30 seconds of extended dog stretch. I love Brooks like southern draw. It's like dog stretch. I'm enjoying how much it feels like it's really just walking me through it. If I was new to working out, I genuinely feel like this would be perfect. Oh my god, that's why it's called Copilot. I'm so stupid. Honestly, someone called Kylie Jenner because I am just realizing things right now. Does this look weird? Because it feels weird. Uh, <laughs> that's the thing about personal training is that. They make you work so much harder than you would make yourself work. Like if I was just at the gym on my own, I would not work anywhere near this hard. The app breaks down each workout into a warm up section, a workout section, and a cool down section, with each individual exercise coming up with a video that shows you how to do it. Each exercise is also vocalized by your coach, who tells you how long you have left on a given exercise and when to start the next one. This is particularly good if you don't want to look at the app whilst you're working out, because the app can still run in the background and give you all your reminders of what's coming up and what you need to be doing. There are short rest breaks built between exercises, so you have time to swap from one to another. This this is something that I've noticed is really missing. For example, if you do YouTube workouts, often they just kind of cut from one exercise to another and you're just somewhat scrambling <laughs> to get in the right position. Whereas this kind of has it built in so you don't end up out of sync with the workout itself. For a first workout, that was pretty intense. I feel like she really listened when I said <laughs> I wanted to hurt. Oh my God, I'm done. I finished the workout. 
How difficult was that? Just right, too easy or too hard? I think it was just right. I'm gonna give it four stars because I feel like I would have preferred more planks holding exercises, but this was kind of like the week for just testing what works and what doesn't work. And Brooke was like, okay, going off everything you've said, I'll create the workouts, then you give me the feedback and we can fine tune what I've put in the workouts. How was the app? The app was great. Additional feedback. Loved the difficulty level. For this first workout, I wrote in the feedback form that I would really like to integrate more planks and other kind of body weighted holds into the workout so that I could push myself a bit further. Brooke replied and made the changes instantly so that when I did the workout next week, they were already there. Subnet workout. Nice. For the rest of your day. Thanks, Brooke. Nice job. You're building habits day by day. I am this badge by completing one healthy activities across one day. Of... Stop. Do you summary? Whoa. Okay. Wait. So it's 53 minutes, and it shows you the muscles that you use. Detailed summary, including reps and specific times. You can pause the workout whenever you need a break. You can skip sets or leave notes or questions about certain exercises within the workout that your trainer can see and reply to straight away. However, the timer on the workout keeps running until you have submitted the workout. Meaning that yes, you can take breaks or skip sets, but at the end of the workout, you can see how long it took you to complete it. I ended up shaving about 10 minutes on average off of each of the workouts over the course of this month because I just didn't need as many rest breaks as I had in the beginning, which was really nice because I got to see in real time my actual progress, which is something that you don't see if you're doing pre-recorded YouTube videos. Done. Oh, and I got a little tick. First impressions, day one, I am more impressed than I thought I would be. Yes, there are things that I want to change, so I can just send her a message now and say that. I definitely worked harder than I would have worked if I had just done an hour at the gym on my own. And I do feel like I've looked after my body a bit better because I did do a cool down and a, a warm up. I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna give that workout like an eight out of 10. The second workout Brooke created was a total EMOM circuit that utilized the treadmill and weights. This was absolutely brutal and it completely destroyed me. I was so exhausted at the end of it. I had to tell Brooke that I struggled to complete it and that the weights were too heavy and that I needed to kind of just tone it down a bit. Although it turns out I was an idiot because I, I'd messed up the unit of measurement. Um, my weights on the app were in pounds and I was lifting weights in kilograms. So that was actually my fault. However, she did swap my unit of measurement to kilograms uh, after realizing that I am in fact stupid. She also modified the workout, removing one of the sets. So instead of doing four repeats of the circuit, I was only doing three. It might be the hardest workout I've ever done. Truthfully, the app can be a little bit fickle at times. For example, sometimes I would be watching a YouTube video during my workout and I would notice that I'd been doing the same exercise for a while. And then I'd go back to the app and see that it had kind of stopped counting the time that I'd committed to the workout. And this was a bit annoying because the only options that you have then are to either do the run again or skip that given exercise. And the skipping the given exercise isn't really a problem because you did do it, but I always felt like it was cheating if I skipped it, because then it looks like I didn't do it even though I did. To be fair, this did only happen a couple of times during the month that I was doing this. And I noticed that it doesn't happen if you periodically go back into Copilot just to kind of almost like refresh it to show that you're still there. My third workout was low impact cardio and core. It was a lot easier than the other two that I had done and functioned like an active recovery day almost. It was designed to help me recover from the EMO circuit while still getting a workout in. And I originally told Brooke that I felt it was too easy, but noted that I was sure that I was gonna be thankful full for the break after a full week of the workouts. So we decided to leave that one unchanged for now. Over the course of the month, I noticed I was a lot less begrudging about working out because I felt like I had a partner in it. I could also ask Brooke any questions I had about fitness, including if there was a certain area I felt wasn't very strong, she could come up with a comprehensive workout that would help improve that given area. My final workout was an at-home total body strength circuit that used two five kilogram weights that I had at home. This ended up being one of my favorite workouts purely because it was so different to anything that I would have done on my own. Look at that. That's some, some deep, deep action there. I ended up working out a lot of muscles that I usually neglect and it was really nice to feel that I was pushing myself in a way that I wouldn't have thought to push myself. That had so many exercises that I have never done before in. Like they're not even things that I would think to work out, if that makes sense. Also, no one look at my toes, okay? They're tired. 
The girls have not seen the light of day in a long time. Okay. So that was the fourth workout. Uh, I'm now going to repeat the four workouts that you've seen for the next three weeks, which means that I'll have completed a month in total. The thing about Copilot is that you can have new workouts whenever you want, but I just figured for the purpose of this video, it's gonna get really difficult if I have to show you a different workout every single time I film. So me and Brooke agreed that we would just do four workouts and then repeat them for four weeks. I think if I was doing this in my personal life, not for a video, I'd probably wanna change the workouts every like two to three weeks, just so my body stays engaged and not getting bored like mentally or physically of the workouts that I was doing. I've repeated these four workouts over the next three weeks and we did make several changes to them over that period. The biggest change was on the low impact cardio and core rest day. We upped the incline significantly and increased the speed so that the treadmill sections were a lot more difficult. I did actually miss a couple of workouts during this month long period and on those days when I missed it Brooke would usually send me a message to say hey I saw you missed yesterday's workout are you feeling up to doing it today or do you need something a little different something a little bit easier. Honestly Brooke might be the most supportive human I've ever met and to be honest that made me want to work out more because she was so supportive that it just made me feel good. I did end up completing the workout the next day because the app just lets you go back to the workout that you missed and redo it. Over the course of the four weeks that I used Copilot, I did notice some real physical changes. I significantly increased my upper body strength and I noticed that I was a lot stronger overall because I was lifting a lot more weights, which was really nice because this was one of the goals that I had discussed with Brooke. If you're new to working out or you struggle with consistency, I honestly think Copilot is perfect. You get a real human who helps keep you accountable who modifies workouts for your specific needs and can be fully flexible of your schedule. Plus, it does take away some of the awkwardness of having to meet a person in real life and, and be sweaty around a personal trainer. On the flip side though, because this is an honest review, um, I, I am going to evaluate. If you have no idea how to work out at all, having a real person there, a personal trainer with you, who can instantly improve your form. Maybe you need a bit more support than what you can see on a video. This might not be as helpful for you. However, I don't think most people would even consider getting an in-person personal trainer. One, because of the cost, and two, because they might not need that in-person support. And I think Copilot can be that bridge for most people between making personal training accessible and still having a bit more freedom to work out on your own. However, when you consider that you might need a gym membership as well as a co-pilot membership to really make the most out of your personal training, it can get quite expensive. Is it perfect for everyone? No, but I do think that it brings genuine value to the people that use it. I will be continuing to use Copilot. I think they knew that I was gonna love the app before I tried the app, which is probably why they were like, yes, bestie, be 100% honest, because it's a bit of me. <laughs> It is a bit of me. So if you would like to trade Copilot for yourself, there's a little link in the description down below that gives you access to a free trial and gets you partnered with your very own health and fitness expert. Um, but you can't have Brooke. She's mine and I'm not sharing. Don't forget to hydrate and as always, give my kisses to your mother.